Hi folks, uh, my name is uh, Goudrel. Uh, I am uh, president of the lesecurity.com. I uh, just wanted to show you what we have been doing there for several years now uh, concerning evaporators. Uh, here we made uh, some, uh, some changes to this evaporator because uh, it is a 2x7 dummy and grim. You see here. Uh, we took, took off the pan, the front pan, just to show you the inside. But before I show you the inside, I want to show you the color of the chimney. Look at the color of the chimney. You see here? What does that tell you? Well, in our book, uh, we've been learning through test, uh, tests for several years that <clears throat> The heat that you make under the pan in the fire pot, uh, you need it. You need that heat to boil. Well, if you are throwing all of that heat in the chimney and outside, well, you're not using. You're losing uh, most of the uh, of the heat. So that will decrease the efficiency of the evaporator. So. Look at the color there. What can we do for not uh, uh, not throwing the heat outside or inside the chimney? Because you need to keep the heat under the pan. That's where you need the heat, not in the chimney. So what we do, we uh, do some Bacharach test and we check the the draft, the upward draft inside the chimney. Most of the time. If you're throwing your heat outside, it's because you have too much upward draft. You see here? So to control the, the, the upward draft inside the chimney, well, you have to install a draft control. You see here? That is the draft control. So that's how you regulate the upward draft inside the chimney. It needs to be at 0.05. Okay, so that is the first thing you need to do. Once you regulate the upward draft inside the, the chimney, well, from then you're going to keep your heat more inside the evaporator. So that is one thing. Then after that, we install a damper. You see here, we have a damper. We can lock the damper in place. This damper will help keeping more heat inside under the pan and you, you will have more control over your boiling. With that damper, you will control your boiling. The more you're going to open it or whatever, well, you're going to move your boiling. You could be more, it's going to be uh, more boiling in front or in the back side. <coughs> now, Underneath the pan, you see here on the side, we took out uh, most of the brick on the sides and under the pan. Why do we do that? That's because um, refract, refractor, uh, refractory uh, insulation is more efficient than bricks. The bricks will keep the heat inside the brick the insulator, the insulation, uh, will reflect the heat. So, if you are reflecting the heat, you'll have more heat reflection under the pan. That's where you need the heat. And that's why we install that. For the rest of the pot, we, we keep the bricks, we keep the bricks in the fire pot because bricks in more, is more resistant because you, uh, you can throw a piece of wood inside, you know, and damage the uh, the insulation so th that's why we do it only from the length of the grills there from there we start putting our insulation that's how we work now this evaporator because it was losing too much heat inside the chimney and uh, uh, from my knowledge 
this evaporator was rolling at about 50% uh, efficiency. No more than that. After I, we do the change, uh, install the draft control, the damper, um, the insulation, and above all, above all of that, we install a ventilation system that is connected to a manifold that is under the grill. I'm going to show you that after a minute. This ventilation, this ventilator or this fan is 150 CFM and it's a speed control. You see here, we have the controller right there. Okay? If you look carefully, if you look carefully in between uh, the far bars, you can see the manifold. Let me see if I can take one out. You see the manifold? The manifold will throw uh, uh, air jets right in, in the middle of the combustion. That's where, where you need it. You never, you never to, to try to, to put some outside pan, uh, piping, you know, to, to bring air on the side or on the top. What you do like that is you bring air on the outside of the combustion. You enrobe the combustion with oxygen. That is not good. You have to inject uh, the, the oxygen inside in the middle of the combustion. That's what we do here. So anyway, after we finish all of that, we're gonna start up the, eva the evaporator. We're gonna put water in it. We will we'll ad adjust the uh, draft control, adjust everything and we'll pass the back rack test and see what uh, the efficiency comes out at. Should be around 70, in between 75 to 80% efficiency. So that is a big step up from 50%. So anyway, that is uh, my first English video today. I hope you understand. Sorry for my bad English, but I hope yeah, that will help you, you guys. Thank you.